Hello, uh, in this video I want to show you how to subscribe to uh, Refire Rigid Component events. There are two types of events, it's demolition and activation events. And every event also uh, divided in two types. First one is global event and local event. And global event means that if you will subscribe, if you will subscribe to global event, any demolition of any Rigid Component will invoke subscribe uh, methods. And local event means that you can subscribe to a specific refire rigid component demolition. So just to show you how it works, so here's my object. And as you can see, it has this demolition event script. So this is just, just a, basically just a tutorial script. You don't have to use it. Uh, you can use, you can subscribe in your own way, but I will use it just to show you how to subscribe. And you can find it in uh, tutorial scripts folder. So first thing you need to do is to use refire namespace. This is an important step. If you will not use it, you will not be able to subscribe. As you can see now, it has no idea what refire component, has no idea what all these classes means. So this is the first thing and most important. Uh, now you can see that I have here my public Boolean global subscription means that I want this uh, script to subscribe to a global uh, which means any demolition of any rigid component and the, the next uh, and second type is local subscription means that I want to subscribe to some specific rigid component so and this is how I define it which means like here are my two rocks which will be demolished later and as you can see I specify this rock to this uh, rock which means I want to check if it will be demolished and if it will be demolished, uh, my subscribe methods will be invoked. So mm, first I will turn on this global subscription and as you can see, uh, just as it usually happens, I will subscribe on enable and I'll subscribe in on disable. So here my uh, global subscription and to subscribe to global uh, demolition event, you need to use this RF demolition event class. And then it's this is global event, this is static field. And using uh, plus equal operator, you subscribe. I'm subscribing my global method. Here you can see my two methods, local and global methods. So in this case, I subscribe my global method to this refer demolition RF demolition event dot global event. It should have a void return type and refire rigid component as input parameter. And in this case, this refire rigid component will be the component which was just demolished. So in this case, in this way, you can get information about what object was demolished, and uh, you can get access to contact point where it was, where demolition happened. You can get access to array of new fragments, so you will be able, you will know which object was just created. And uh, well, in this case, as you can see, I have my uh, transform of this object. I want to uh, move it at the position of demolition. So this is the global event, and this is my global method which I am using to subscribe, which I am subscribing. So now if I will start play mode, you will see that uh, when demolition happened, it just move, it just uh, jump to contact uh, position. So I can create more rocks. And as you can see, all I did is just uh, turn on this global subscription. So it just uh, subscribes to all, to any demolition. And this way you can get access to any demolition. Let's say you want to play some sound. In this case, you will know where this demolition happened, how many fragments, so maybe you need some uh, loud noise or maybe it shouldn't be so loud. And okay, that's enough with global event. And uh, next one is local subscription. In this case, I will subscribe to this rock too. You can uh, 
to find any project component you want. But I will subscribe this one. So this is how you can do this. I will disable it. And well, maybe I want to subscribe to this rock. Okay, now if I will start play mode, uh, and as you can see, uh, local method do, does pretty the same, it just show in debug log that uh, local demolition happened, it says its name, and says how many fragments was created, were created, and uh, where there was the contact point. It also moves uh, object to contact point. So let's start play mode. And now I will see that it jumps to the position of this specific project component, which was got just demolished. Also keep in, keep in mind that after demolition, as you can see right now, it says rock refurbished, but after it will be demolished, it will be in scene for one second and then it will be destroyed as well. Okay, now you can see it says it's missing. So if you need to get all this information, you need to save it somewhere because after some moment it will be demolished. It will be uh, deleted from scene. But there you can uh, you can change this by going to the refire man in advanced delicious properties and you can see here demolished object destroyed. You can just deactivate it so it will not be destroyed, it will stay in scene forever and you will be able to get access to this uh, object or you can increase destroy delay so in this case it says one second means that after one second it will be destroyed in scene so you can increase it if you need to uh, have access to some demolished object for some more time you can increase this time here and uh, also in the same way you can uh, subscribe to activation event and it works in pretty the same way the only difference is that uh, this is a global event for activation and in this case I also use instead of uh, demolition event I am subscribing to activation event and then local event so uh, well this is how uh, subscription works in uh, for a fire component and I uh, hope this will help you and uh, thank you for watching.